Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I will have a wind turbine theme uh, for you. I want to show you how you can realize an external break on your wind turbine, which is absolutely essential in a few um, circumstances or under a few circumstances. Anyhow, before we start, just a short teaser to the uh, lithium iron phosphate rack batteries. I know you guys like the two videos about the uh, $1,000 lithium iron phosphate rack batteries from AliExpress and I can tell you they are pretty impressive especially for the price point and actually uh, on my neighbor who has a horse farm we are realizing um, 100 kW storage, uh, 100 kW hour storage out of these uh, lithium iron phosphate battery racks from AliExpress but later on to that thing more. Today we discuss um, a short switch for the wind turbine because you know um, it's absolutely essential to have the opportunity to break down or to stop a wind turbine in case of storms or if you have any issues in your system. Some guys are here using these very cheap uh, controllers for example or some other guys using rectifiers together with an MPPT for solar panels which is a good idea as well. Um, but uh, you do have or you, you need the opportunity to stop the wind turbine. And, and these um, controllers, for example, or also the famous green or blue boxes, you will not have the opportunity to stop the uh, wind turbine manually, but um, you have to have such a switch into your system. I can highly recommend you realize that with these load insulation switches, they're not very expensive. They're certified for 32 or maybe um, 60, 64 amps. And this is by far enough to stop the wind turbine in most cases. And it's pretty easy to realize with these cheap switch in parallel to your system, a very professional uh, brake switch. So let's take a view inside this switch and then I show you how easy you can realize that brake. Yeah, this is a switch. I already opened the case. And you see there's nothing fancy inside, it's just only a simple uh, switch, which is indeed um, three different switches in, in just one. So you see uh, three poles, and this is absolutely essential to buy a three-pole switch, of course. Three in and three out. So what you have to do now is that you connect three wires over here that are going to the uh, charge controller into parallel to the connection of the wind turbine. I show you later on a schematic how it looks like. And you connect two bridges between these poles to short circuit um, these three wires in case of you use the switch. Um, also, which I may prefer is you can connect two different dump loads in between like I already did on the modification of my uh, is the breeze controller, you will find the video on YouTube as well, um, that you connect a dump load from over here to over here and a second dump load from over here to over here. And then you have a soft um, breakdown of the turbine. And of course, um, it's safe for you because if you have a very fast turning wind turbine, uh, you will have voltages up to maybe 80, 90 or even 150 volts. And if you come with your fingers and want to uh, uh, want to short circuit that with just with a small piece of wire going directly uh, um, to the open contact, it's may a bit dangerous for you. So this insulated switch, switch is in any case a very safe uh, way to do so. If you uh, use a rectifier, um, you can connect these three wires which are going out to um, these three wires where you connect the wind turbine, so on the AC side. Um, for better understanding, I show you that on, on an ugly schematic, but I guess it's uh, easy or better to understand that way. Um, the wires coming down from the wind turbine to the uh, charge controller, which, which is that one, or it could be a rectifier like this one, and from over there it goes to the battery. And this switch here um, is nothing else than uh, a device that sh short circuit these three wires. So you have to connect these three wires out of the switch in parallel to the wires of the wind turbine before it goes to the charge controller. You can connect it maybe even directly at the same parts of the charge controller. And here you see these three switches are 
uh, connected together on the other side. So if you um, use that switch, in any case, you will short uh, all the three wires and uh, do that um, circumstances, you will break down the turbine. I ha once again, I highly re recommend to connect a dump load between these poles over here and over here to have a softer breakdown of the turbine. So, nothing fancy, that is all. It's absolutely essential to have such a switch. It's not very expensive, it costs maybe 15 or 20 dollars, but it can definitely save your whole setup under a few circumstances. So if you like the video, please click the like or even the subscribe button. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.